Hi, this is Tommy Hall with MathNook.com, and I'm here to give a quick overview on how to play Panda Swing Math. If you're not familiar with MathNook.com, we're located at www.MathNook.com, and we have over 200 free math games to play. We also have free fun games to play, and there's no membership required and no sign-up required. Okay, let's go ahead and get to the game. And here's the main menu you'll see when you start up. Let's go ahead and turn the sound off. And um, Panda Swing Math can be played with either... Addition only, subtraction only, multiplication only, division only. Let's go ahead and look at the addition game. Let's go ahead and click play. And here are the levels. There's 20 levels, and the object is to get three stars on each level. And the way you do that is to get all the scrolls com uh, containing the target number and uh, as quickly as possible. Let's go ahead and go to the first level here. And there's a little bit of instructions there. Um, you need to keep in mind the target number on each level will be different and the target number on this level is 36 so we want to look at all the scrolls and we want to get the scrolls that are equal to 36 so right off I see 18 and 18 is 36 so let's go ahead and grab that one 36 plus 0 is 36 can't quite reach that one so let's go ahead and move the panda over a little bit I can move them by grabbing pretty much anything the floor or this bar up here and even the ceiling Go ahead and grab that one, and uh, there's the other scroll that's equal to 36. Let's go ahead and hold that down. Now the way I uh, grab them is by holding the left, by moving this around there the way I want it to go, the star around, and uh, holding the left mouse button down. So the target number on this one is 26. So that one's equal to 26. Let's go ahead and see if we can get that one. Yep. And can't quite reach there so let's go ahead and swing up there and that's equal to 26 and that one's equal to 26. Um, if I shoot here at this one I'll grab these other ones and the level will be over so let's go ahead and just uh, move over closer to them and you noticed when I hit when the pan hit that one it moved it moved uh, the scroll started moving so that is something you'll need to use on later levels when uh, there's two numbers close together you can certainly use that to split them up where you can uh, be sure you only shoot the one that's the right answer so the target number on this is 60 and this is kind of a fun level because you got a little beach ball there um, so let's look for the ones that are equal 60 that one is equal to 60 so let's go ahead and uh, also that one's equal to 60 so let's go ahead and take a little ride here well, get that one and let's see where the other 60 is located over there okay so let's go over here and get this 60 and now we're going to need to take another little ride get over to where we can shoot the other 60 and level is complete the water's a little bit different because now you're floating and you you're not versus uh, uh, when you're on a normal level you won't fall all the way down to get to the bottom you can do that and let's go ahead and see what the target number is 70 so it's this one right here Oop. and that one and to get up here go ahead and there and to avoid shooting these I'm going to go ahead and inch them along here and get that one now on this level there's uh, you'll see there's a coin and you get those not by shooting them but having having the uh, little panda run into them so the target number is four and if you notice I hit these guys they start moving another thing you can do is use a ceiling on all the levels and there I can go ahead and get that four and shooting the star doesn't do anything but I can certainly move them up there and get the coin well that's how you play the game I hope you have fun with it and thanks for watching